and Clara. We're ready to go. We're off and running at Oaklawn Park. First diamond in the middle of the field out alertly. Here's Wild Cherokee to pass and take a short lead. Wild Cherokee's the pacemaker from first diamond. Bodie Odie, who's deep on the course, coming up to apply pressure on Wild Cherokee down the back stretch. Can't I run? Moving up level third with first diamond. A length to Patty Jean, who's on a stronghold, a little bit keen. Three better than JJ's Joy and ready for wide. As the back of the pack gets to the rail with a half mile to go. Bodie Odie with the head lead. Wild Cherokee retreats to second. Into the far turn run. First diamond getting closer. Third within two and a quarter lengths of Bodie Odie who clears off and gets to the rail around the far turn. Can't I run his fourth. Six behind now in an all out drive. Petty Jean moving up to claim the fifth spot. Ready for wine is next. JJ's Joy has not run her best today. They come to the top of the lane. Bodie Odie is scampering away to a five length lead. Bodie Odie as she sails down the lane. Can't I run into the second position. Has about four or five to make up on Bodie Odie. And the final furlong, Bodie Odie still well ahead. Can't I run chasing second, first time in third. It's Bodie Odie and John Court clear. Bodie Odie took it to him from the word go and wins it. Can't I run was second, first time in third. Ready for wine, fourth home. And uh, Laroff, superhero, caught an alert getaway. And Sitka is going to stride level. Sitka to the lead from superhero right up on the outside. A gap of two to twirling Troy Lett with an interrupter who's settling off the pace today. Texas splurred second to last. Red Rizzler at the back of the pack. So the first time starters, second to last and last respectively. The field covered by six or seven lengths. And Sitka goes at a nice gallop, leads by three quarters of a length. Superhero in the second spot. Interrupter is three wide, a little bit closer, but sent along in that third position. Three back to twirling Troy Lett. Texas splurge joins him. And Red Rizzler still at the rear as they round the far turn and quick in the pace. Sitka still going well with it himself, it appears. Superhero shown more rain to keep pace. He's right there battling. Interrupter losing contact with the top pair. Looks like he's called it a day, just trying to hold third at this point. They're off the turn. It's a two-horse race. Superhero at a big price trying to reel in Sitka. Sitka finding more in the final three sixteenths. Superhero at 20 to 1 has run a massive race today. Sitka, Superhero head and head. Sitka with the advantage. Superhero on the outside still right there, but Sitka clings on to the lead, and he will prevail in the end. Sitka over Superhero. Texas Splurge was third, twirling Troilette fourth. And uh, Laroff, Henro was off a little bit slowly from the inside, then ducked inwards. Crafted going to the front as a share of the lead with Market Street. Market Street in the white blinkers strides to take a short lead. Crafted second. Excitable boy put into the race third early on. This is Uskar deeper on the course of the fourth spot. Risk it right behind within three legs of the lead and another length to Henro, who's at the back of the field. The compact group hits the half mile marker and the leader is Market Street on top by a length as he inches away here approaching the turn. Crafted now in chase mode second, a length and a half behind Market Street. Henro is attempting to get closer on the inside. He joins Riskin in a three deep. This is Uskar who has dropped to the back of the pack. Excitable boy sent along now taking the third spot. This is Uskar trying to re-rally after getting shuffled to the back. He's going to get outside at the top of the lane. Market Street off the turn in front by two. Henro tips outside in second with Excitable boy. This is Uskar on the extreme outside. He's motoring home too. Furlong to go. Market Street is another furlong to get here having a steady Excitable boy between horses. Horses chasing hard. Henro also coming on here is Risk it up the inside, but Market Street's going to take him the distance. Market Street and Nick Juarez over Henro. Third Risk it. This is Uskar was fourth.
The thrill of thoroughbred racing is always available with Oaklawn Anywhere. When they can't make it to the track, Arkansas residents can watch and wager on horse races from all over the world with any smartphone, laptop, or tablet, anytime, anywhere. Go to oaklawnanywhere.com or download the free Oaklawn Anywhere app and register for a $150 sign-up bonus. Bet online anytime with Oakland Anywhere, Arkansas's exclusive window to worldwide racing. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-522-4700. Slow break from eyes on point. Spanish Delight leapt in the air at the start is at the back of the pack. Dixie Penny and Koala, 1-2. Koala takes control of things. Dixie Penny takes back to second. Halaga moves level with Dixie Penny. Royal Megan wedges herself between that pair. A gap of two to Mia Baby settling in the fifth position. Spanish Delight is parked outside of her. Another two and a half to Winya Bay. And Eyes on Point is at the back of the field with a half mile to go. Koala is the leader with a line of three, a length and a half behind. Dixie Penny on the inside. Halaga takes that second spot. Dixie Penny back in third. Royal Megan shuffled back now is in the two path, a joint third with Dixie Penny, so the two favorites, four lengths off Koala, who still leads the charge around the far turn. Spanish Delight in the fifth position, sent along three wide. The others are far out of it as they swing off the turn. Koala has opened up that lead to two and a half lengths. Halaga chasing hard. Royal Megan far outside, putting in a bend. Dixie Penny on the inside. Royal Megan is corralling that early leader. Koala now. Royal Megan, Koala trying to hang in there, but Royal Megan's two Tough just blew right on by, and Royal Megan is going to open up late to win it. Royal Megan, Keith Asmussen with a double. Koala holds second, Dixie Penny third, just ahead of Eyes on Point. And uh, Leroff, slow break on the inside from Sergeant Reckless. Having to take up right after the break was eight straight. Going to the front is Mo Moves. He's on top with Life of the Nile and a three-deep Vincencino into the clubhouse turn. Those three stretched across the track, entering the turn. Little Bro Coop right behind in the fourth spot with Contrabandista. Hard Not to Like is next with Brennan's Honor, who's tugging a little bit. Pre-game, a length off that pair and another length to Lord Grantham. Eight straight is third last. Five clear of Star Nation. Sergeant Reckless, who is off slowly, trails with him. Down the back stretch. They run a strung out group. Life of the Nile takes hold of the bit and leads by just a deck. Mo moves to the inside right there. A length and a half to Little Bro Coop. Vincencino side by side. Contrabandista racing in the fifth position. Three and a half lengths off the lead. About two lengths back to Brennan's Honor. Hard to come by. Pre-game has lost ground. Absolutely needs to turn it around to win it. Lord Grantham passes him. He's within seven or eight from the top into the turn. Star Nation, eight straight. And Sergeant Reckless at the back. Into the far turn. Remember, this 
This race will end at the 16th pole. The leaders still going together. Life on the Nile on the outside with a head lead on Mo Moves second. Here comes Little Bro Coop without being asked. He looms large, creeping in nicely. Little Bro Coop catching the eye in the three path, and he's up to tackle the leaders as they swing off the turn. Little Bro Coop, Life on the Nile, trying to move with him. These two engage one another as they come down the stretch. Little Bro Coop with the edge. Little Bro Coop, Life on the Nile, second. Contrabandista into third. Little Bro Coop, Manny Esquivel coming home to score nicely. Little Bro Coop, Life on the Nile, second. Contrabandista, third. Mo Moves was fourth. And uh, let her off. Uneventful start. Zap Motion gets the reins shaken at him to get to the front. He's got the lead early. Poulter, the favorite, takes back to second. Huge Bigley third as they come by us with about one lap to go. Zap Motion is the leader. Clears off a length and a tail. Poulter on a keen hold second. Huge Bigley third, then a line of three. WW Crazy on the outside. Efficiency between horses. Racket tap tap down on the inside into the turn. And the trailer is Nepal up, six off the lead, and the lead is being held by Zap Motion. Zap Motion carving out the fractions, a length and a half in front, huge Bigley and Poulter side by side. WW Crazy takes the fourth position, and he's three lengths off the lead in the pink jacket. Another length further back to efficiency, racket tap tap, second to last. He's five off the lead and three back to Nepal up as the seven runners swing down the back stretch. 24 and one the first quarter, the half and 49 and two. Leisurely fraction set by the long shot, Zap Motion, who's leading by about a length and a half as he opens up the lead just a little bit. Poulter is following him on the inside, claims second and third. Huge Bigley right off the lead, though, approaching the turn. WW Crazy on the outside, fourth joined by Efficiency. Rack a tap, tap under pressure, and a pal up still well out of it as they round the far turn. Poulter wants to get after Zap Motion. Zap Motion on the two path being asked to keep pace. Poulter right there on the inside. Two back to Huge Bigley. Third, watching the action unfold in front of him, and here he comes with a three-wide rally. Efficiency fourth. He's pumped upon to get going as they come to the top of the lane. Poulter cuts the corner. Zap motion between horses struggles, and Huge Bigley's pouncing on the top pair, and he just went right on by. Huge Bigley with a furlong to goes in control. Poulter second, getting outside for the final furlong, and then efficiency. Zap motion has had enough. Huge Bigley. Coming to the line, two ahead. Huge Bigley, Martin Schwann to win it. Three wins in a row for Huge Bigley. Poulter is second, efficiency third. Zap motion fourth. The thrill of thoroughbred racing is always available with Oaklawn Anywhere. When they can't make it to the track, Arkansas residents can watch and wager on horse races from all over the world with any smartphone, laptop, or tablet, anytime, anywhere. Go to oaklawnanywhere.com or download the free Oaklawn Anywhere app and register for a $150 sign-up bonus. Oaklawn Anywhere gives you access to past performances, live video, and expert race analysis with no subscription fees. Bet online anytime with Oaklawn Anywhere, Arkansas's exclusive window to worldwide racing. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-522-4700.
are you doing here? Just here to remind you that Oakland Sports is a betting app that goes where you go. You're not strong enough to lift this. Maybe not, but I do have strong feelings about the over on Monday night. Now let's get it! Pickaboo, hey buddy, good idea. Stay limber. You know what a real stretch is? Tigers covering the spread, and guess who's nailing it? This guy. Oakland Sports goes where you go. Bet with the best mobile sports app from the brand you trust. Bet with Oakland Sports. And uh, we're off. Bad bobble at the break for air to greatness. Harry Hernandez doing a good job to stay on there, but he's towards the back of the field after that. Prodigious Bay to the lead. Boogie Bodie takes the second spot. Cost base is three deep on the course into the clubhouse turn as those three are pretty much across the track. Test Pilot right behind them in the fourth position. Then Leader of Men, Legendary Lore, and more big leaves deep on the course. Another three to Man on the Mood, settling and racing alone. He's about 10 or 11 behind approaching the backstretch run. Seaside Boy and Make Noise are next. Air to Greatness is second to last, and what a country is at the back of the pack as they make their way down the backstretch. Decent tempo set by Cost Basis, who went 23 seconds flat for the first quarter mile. Leads a length and a half. Prodigious Bay, Rocco Bowen takes a hold with him, gets outside into the two-path to track. Then comes Test Pilot and Boogie Bodie, leader of men, legendary lore. They're side by side. Make Noise moves forward on the inside to make it a party of three into the far turn run. Coming back to Man on the Moon. He's patiently ridden into the turn. Niggle the Long now, right as he hit the turn, followed by more bigly air to greatness as they round the far turn, and the other two have got to get going as they round that turn. Coming to the top of the lane, cost basis, prodigious Bay has made his move to come and challenge, and these two are right together as they come to the top of the stretch. Boogie Bodie making a move three wide and coming on the scene. Boogie Bodie at three to one, up to inhale those front runners now, and Boogie Bodie has the head lead. Now it's a length, now it's a length and a half, now it's two, now it's three, and he's going away. Boogie Bodie, leader of men's second, Air to Greatness has run a very good race after the bad break, but Boogie Bodie's too far in front for anybody to catch him. Boogie Bodie and Carlos Barbosa coming home by four. Air to Greatness was second leader of men third. Legendary lore, fourth home. And uh, we're off. Havaha on the far outside broke alertly. Almost gone rocket up on the pace. Delacina not far off. And there goes Delacina to the lead. Almost gone rocket there on the outside to press the issue. Havaha taken back to third down the backside. Queen's Legacy fourth early. Then Lady Ariel and Joelma, the first time starter, has no early speed. And she's well behind. And now Queen's Legacy is being eased up, or at the very least, drifting all the way to the outside. So Queen's Legacy out of contention here is bolted into the far turn and now just lost the rider, Rafael Bejarano, right up on his feet. So good to see there. But Queen's Legacy is out of the race as they round the far turn. Della China on top by a half length, almost gone rocket right behind chasing. Havaha shaken up from third. Lady Ariel is getting closer at the top of the lane right behind the leaders coming down the stretch. Della China in front, almost gone rocket though, right as I said that, just ran right by an almost gone rocket. The first time starter by Into Mischief is going to win by however many likes she wants, really. Almost gone rocket, 16th to go for the Brad Cox. Barn has gone eight ahead now it's nine almost gone rocket long gone from the competition Della Cena yes held off second over Joelma and fourth was Lady Ariel And uh, we're off. Good start from the Arkansas bred. Bohemian Bo up on the pace in the early stages. Lark's Mischief, a neck off, hounding him. And on the inside, our last chance is moving up to come and challenge those front runners. Easy action right off of them. A length off the lead here in the fourth position on the outside. A gap of two to the two grays. Echo again and track mate. Spen Benjamins will attempt to do his best running later. Secret pocket alongside of him. They approach the far turn run. Bohemian Bo, Lark's Mischief side by side as they go into the turn. Our 
Our last chance has retreated. He's already called it an afternoon. Trackmate, Echo again, and Easy Action, the favorite, three deep. Those tr three are about two off the lead as they approach the top of the lane. Spen Benjamin, six behind, needs to get going. And then Secret Pocket, top of the stretch. Lark's Mischief, Bohemian Bow. Lark's Mischief in the white blaze kicks away from Bohemian Bow second. Trackmate third, Easy Action. Doesn't look like he's going to hit the board here as he's plummeted back and beaten. It's still Lark's Mischief, but here's Trackmate on the outside in the Calumet Farm colors. Trackmate pulling away for Rafael Bejarano and the coach, D. Wayne Lucas. Trackmate by three. Lark's Mischief second. Echo again third. And somehow, our last chance, who plummeted to the back of the field around the forward turn, ended up completing that superfecta. The thrill of thoroughbred racing is always available with Oaklawn Anywhere. When they can't make it to the track, Arkansas residents can watch and wager on horse races from all over the world with any smartphone, laptop, or tablet, anytime, anywhere. Go to oaklawnanywhere.com or download the free Oaklawn Anywhere app and register for a $150 sign-up bonus. Bet online anytime with Oakland Anywhere, Arkansas's exclusive window to worldwide racing. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-522-4700. In the finale, Magnolia May caught a good beginning. KJ's Pistol Annie on the lead. Classy Edge aggressively ridden to get up there. And Classy Edge is a share of the lead early on with KJ's Pistol Annie. Magnolia May between them. And Gala from the far outside post makes it a line of three right behind Classy Edge, who leads the way down the back stretch. Marty's Angel in the fifth position, passing Little Burrito. A gap of three to Dixie Girl, too. That's their right. Has joined her. A natural touch into the turn. Kittyara is in midfield in the line green. She's running seven lengths off the pace as they charge around the turn. Pat Scow is second to last, and one at the back is Be My Huckleberry as they round the far turn. Classy Edge still in control of things. Magnolia May in the second position. And Gala now three behind the leaders as she's under a hard ride, too. Magnolia May cruises past Classy Edge at the top of the lane, and Magnolia May's in front and opening up now. Magnolia May has gone five ahead, and she has opened up with a comfortable advantage here coming on late is that there's right Dixie girl too is in it and also up the inside Pat's gal but Magnolia May for the Tommy Vance barn is clear all alone and she will win it Magnolia May and Joe Belmer Pat's gal was second third home that there's right and fourth was be my huckleberry from the back of the pack And Lara. <laughs> 